Yo, Matt Gare here. Today we're going to look at this really interesting problem, which I saw in the book 50 Challenging Problems in Probability. So, it's called the three-cornered duel. A, B, and C are to fight a three-cornered pistol duel. All know that A's chance of hitting his target is 0.3, C is 0.5, and B never misses. They are to fire at their choice of target in succession in the order A, B, C cyclically but a hit man loses further turns and is no longer shot at, until only one man is left unhit. What should A's strategy be? Now, before we go on to solve this problem, actually, we should, we should uh, add something there. A is allowed to, actually all of them are allowed to kind of skip their turns. So, skip is allowed. Okay, now that, now that we've made that clear, let's go on. So, there's these three guys here, A, B, and C. And the first turn goes to A. So now he can shoot either B, C, or he can skip. Now, let's see what happens if he shoots C. Well, if A shoots C, and then C dies, then the next turn goes to B, and B is just going to kill A, and he's going to win. So, we don't want to shoot C. Alright, so, we don't want to shoot C. So now let's see what happens if we were to shoot B. If we shoot B, then there are two outcomes. The first one, B lives. And the second one, B dies. Now, if B lives, then what's going to happen? If B lives, then B is just going to shoot C, and C is going to die because B never misses. Um, the reason he's going to shoot C and not A is because C has a probability of hitting his target as uh, 0.5 which is more than that of A and so B wants to eliminate the one who poses the greatest threat first so C dies and now A is gonna have another chance at shooting B and so the probability in this case that A lives is gonna be 0.3 and in the case B dies now this is a bit more complex B dies and now the turn goes to C. So, what is the probability that A is gonna live in a in a two-man duel between A and C, where C has the first turn? Okay, so C has the first turn. Let's write that down. C has the first turn. Okay. Now, so C has the first turn. In order for A to win, C has to first miss, so the probability of him missing is 0.5. And now, A can win on the first turn, on the, or the second turn, or the third turn, the fourth turn, the fifth turn, and so on, till, basically till any number. And we're gonna take we're gonna take n as infinity in this case because he can win on any turn, and we want to calculate that probability. So, C has a first turn. So first off, C misses, that's 0.5, and A hits. So that probability is 0.3. Now, for the second guy, for the second turn, it's going to be, for the first turn, let's write this down. First turn, we have 0.5 times 0.3. For the, for the second turn, we have, first, both of them miss. right first both of them miss and then C misses but A hits and for the third term we have they miss twice so that's gonna be whole square and then again C is going to miss but A is gonna hit and so you can see this pattern here. We have a, a geometric series, and let's write this down. So the first term is 0 0.5 times 0 0.3. Then we have plus 0.5 square times 0.7 times 0.3. And then we have 0.5 square times 0.7 square. 0.5 cube, actually. 0.5 cube times 0.7 square times 0.3. And if we just take out this guy out of the whole thing, then we get 0 0.5 times 0 0.3 into 1 plus 
0.5 times 0.7 plus 0.5 square times 0.7 square and so on and if we just calculate out this entire thing the the answer we get is 3 over 13 all right now let's write down everything that we know so we decided that a shoots b and the other other the other possibility is a doesn't shoot anyone so a a doesn't Okay, now let's see here. If A shoots B, then what is the probability that he is going to kill B? That's 0.3, right? And now, we decided that there were two cases. Case 1, where he kills B, and then he, he also manages to kill C, right? So the probability for, for us getting to that case is 0.3 times 3 over 13. And in the other case, we have that A does not kill B, so that's just going to be 0.7. And then, on after, after B actually kills C, A then kills B, so that's going to be 0.7 times 0.3. And this entire thing comes out to be... So, this entire thing comes out to be 0.279. All right, and in the other case, A doesn't shoot. Well, what's gonna happen in this case? B is just gonna shoot C, and then A is gonna have one chance at killing B. Otherwise, in the next turn, he's just gonna die. So in this case, the probability of A winning, let me write that down, probability A wins is gonna be 0.3. And in this case, It's 0.279, and so it's clear that this is the better strategy for A. And now, you might be asking yourself, why are we getting this counterintuitive result? The answer to that is, the way we got this, uh, this number, 3 over 13, that was a duel between A and C, but C had the first shot. So C had the first shot. And it turns out that C getting this first shot was enough of an advantage for him to actually kind of outweigh the, the effect of A shooting the first time. And so we get this result that A wins. I, I, I shouldn't say A wins. A has a, a higher probability of winning if he doesn't shoot. Anyway, this was a problem. I hope you guys enjoyed it. It was, uh, it was a pretty counterintuitive problem. And please like, subscribe, and comment. Thank you.